Mm. It's hard to drink without ruining lipstick. Hi everyone! Bit of a different setup today, I just felt like standing so my camera is very precariously balanced on a bunch of like boxes and stuff so we're gonna see how this goes. Today since I like to not start drama but I like to talk about my unpopular opinions and I like to read other people's unpopular opinions even though they tend to make me mad sometimes if I don't agree. I decided I would do the unpopular book opinion challenge tag thing. What? It's the unpopular book opinion tag. <laughs> Coming up with my list is a little bit harder than I thought it would be because I tend to like the same things that other people like, like as far as series go, like there's not really a ton of things that I don't like, but there is, there's a few and I want to talk about them because it's just, it's been weighing on my heart, man, I need to let it out. <laughs> Question number one, a popular book or series that you didn't like? My answer for this one is going to be I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. I don't think this is a bad book, I think it's very well written, I think it's pretty beautiful and everything, it's just that it was too much for me. I thought that there was too many artistic metaphors, especially in Noah's perspective, it just felt like a lot, like it felt like she was really really trying to like hammer home that he's an artist and look at all these metaphors, and it was just too much for me. It's kind of the same problem I had with All the Bright Places where it felt a little bit pretentious because of everything like that, but I didn't hate the book by any means. I think it's a very good book. I just personally wasn't my taste. Number two, a popular book or series that everyone seems to hate but you love. So my answer for this is The Chronicles of Narnia. Hear me out. I don't think people hate this series, it's just whenever I've tried to talk to someone about it or someone mentions it online, they kind of mention it in passing. They're like, that was something I read a while ago or I've just seen the movies or I just kind of felt like meh about them. Which is weird to me because I grew up loving those books. They were my entire childhood. I don't understand how people can't just like fall in love with them. This is my answer because I literally couldn't think of any other book series that people like hate that I don't also hate. <laughs> Number three, a love triangle where the main character ended up with the person you didn't want them to. Now I try to avoid love triangles because they suck. And it's actually been a while since I've read a love triangle so I had trouble thinking of this. And I'm not sure if it's really a love triangle but I came up with this answer anyway. My answer is spoilers for the Grisha trilogy. Alina and Mal end up together in the end. It's just, I don't like Mal. He reminds me a lot of Gale from The Hunger Games for some reason. And it might be the element that he's like the childhood friend and he's like a hunter type person and that kind of thing. I just didn't like him. I know a lot of other people didn't like him. And I was just really mad that when the end she ended up with him. And I just kind of felt also that it was kind of a cop out when he didn't really die and they brought him back and everything. I felt like he should have at least just died and made that sacrifice and Alina could have been sad about it or whatever, but like, I just was not happy about the fact that they ended up together, I thought it was dumb. Number four, a popular book genre that you hardly ever reach for. For me, this is contemporary. Like I just started saying in the first question, uh, contemporary books aren't really my thing, I've said this before. I don't want to keep throwing around the word pretentious because I know that's kind of, that might be like insulting to the author if that's just like their art that they're putting out there and I'm like, that's oh, too pretentious for me. But I feel like a lot of it is. That's why I didn't like I'll Give You the Sun, I didn't like All the Bright Places that much. Um, my friend's favorite John Green book is Looking for Alaska and that was my least favorite one that I've read so far. I just don't tend to go for contemporaries because I feel like they all have the same story. There's so many that I haven't read and probably won't read because they're all just like the typical romancy love stories. I'm just not interested in that anymore. And to be fair, there is contemporaries that I really enjoy and love picking up. Like I love Paper Towns by John Green. Also literally anything by Morgan Matson is great. I recommend it so much. I've only read Since You've Been Gone and The Unexpected Everything, but I, this summer I plan to read her other two and I just love her books. Oh, I like really, really summery contemporaries, which is why I think I like Paper Towns and why I like Morgan Matson so much. Number five, a popular character that you don't like. Oh, there are so many. <laughs> There's so many main characters that I don't like, like I could say Clary, I could say Triss, I could say Four. But I think my main answer for this one, because I just read this series recently, is Enzo from The Young Elites. I don't know what it was, because it seems like everybody else in the fandom really likes him. I thought he was super boring. I didn't think he did anything in like the first book at all. Like I thought he was just kind of there to like be broody. He like introduced Adelina to what the daggers were. He just wasn't interesting to me. I didn't feel any connection whatsoever. So yeah, I don't know. Not a huge fan of Enzo. Number six, a popular author that you can't seem to get into. For this one, I'm gonna say Cassandra Clare. I think I read most of the books in the Mortal Instruments series. I know I didn't read the last one. I can't remember if I read the second last one or not. I can't even remember the titles of them, honestly. But I just kind of lost interest. She makes all these like side series. Like, there's a whole Infernal Devices series. There's that new one, that, like the Lady Midnight or whatever. And I'm like, why? Well, just stop your universe, man. There's so much stuff. Like I just have absolutely no desire to pick up the rest of her books. I I don't know, I heard writing style wasn't even my favorite, so. Number seven, a popular book trope that you're tired of seeing. Now I'm gonna avoid saying love triangles here because I know that everybody knows that everybody hates love triangles and they're just expecting me to say that. I hate forced romances, like between characters that didn't seem to have any chemistry but the author just thought it would be convenient to put them together or whatever. And literally anything that even like remotely looks like insta-love, I immediately hate. I hate insta-love so much. I don't understand why authors do that. I just hate insta-love, I hate it. 
I hate forced romances. I hate authors that rush their characters into relationships. I guess if you have a standalone, it's kind of necessary if you're trying to have a romance in there, but like at least have it build up somehow. Insta love. That's my most hated trip. Even more than love triangles, I think I hate insta love. Doesn't make any sense, man. Number eight, a popular series that you have no interest in reading. Like I just said, I'm never gonna finish any of Cassandra Clare's books. I have no interest in finishing the Shadowhunters series. Um, that's not what it's called, but whatever. <laughs> I have absolutely no desire to read the rest of her books. I just, I don't care. Oh, also probably another series that I'm not gonna finish is Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard by Rick Riordan. I mean, I am a huge Rick Riordan fan. I love his book and I love, love learning about mythology and all that kind of stuff. I just, I don't really like Norse mythology, I've discovered. It's really confusing. It's just, it's weird. It's just not interesting to me. It's not interesting as much as Greek mythology or Egyptian mythology is. So I've got the first book in the Magnus Chase series. I'm probably not going to buy the rest of the books. Whether or not I read them is kind of up in the air. I'm not saying they're bad, they just didn't really interest me that much. And number nine, a TV show slash movie adaptation that you thought was better than the book. It's a very rare occurrence for me to like the movie better than the book. Like, I think the Hunger Games movies are pretty great uh, as far as adaptations go, but I still like the books better. And then there's just, there's just a lot of movie adaptations that weren't good. But my answer for this is the Lord of the Rings movies. Now, better than the book is loose terms here because I don't necessarily think they're better than the book, I just think they're much easier to get through than the books. I would rather watch the movies than read the book. I've read the books once and I pr I'll probably read them again. I really should read them again. It just takes a lot of effort. They're not easy to get through. And I'm not including the Hobbit movies in this because I don't think the Hobbit movies are as good as Lord of the Rings. Have I ever talked about how much I love the Lord of the Rings movies? Probably. <laughs> I feel like Lord of the Rings is one of those things that I'm going to like for forever. It's not one of those fandoms that I'm ever going to grow out of. Maybe I'll grow out of the fandom portion of it, but I'm always going to love Lord of the Rings. Ever since I watched the movies for the first time, I was just hooked. The Lord of the Rings movies are my favorite movies of all time. My favorite out of the trilogy is Return of the King, but I think they're all amazing. Like, the cinematography is great, the writing and the directing, it's all really great, and the acting is incredible. Like, I just, I, they're so good. Ugh. I've watched every single behind the scenes thing multiple times. Like, I would much rather sit through and watch a four hour Lord of the Rings extended edition than like any other movie. So those are all of my unpopular book opinions. Let me know down in the comments if you have any unpopular bookish opinions, even if they don't necessarily relate to one of these questions, just anything you need to get off your chest, I won't judge you. Let me know if you share any of my opinions because it would be nice to not feel alone in some of these. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have an awesome week. Bye!